So in the last decade, a handful of people that I've worked with have never come back from here. This is extremely dangerous. Thwaites Glacier, otherwise known as the Doomsday Glacier, is bigger than Florida and attached, for now, to the West Antarctica Ice Sheet, which itself is bigger than India. Thwaites is unique in that it's melting faster than any other glacier on Earth, and it's at the same time the one we think is the most vulnerable. It has a kind of an unusual shape in that when you start at the coastline of Antarctica at Thwaites, and you work your way inland back to South Pole, the bed underneath it, the sea, the sea floor becomes deeper and deeper. So as it melts, there's more and more ice to melt. So it's a runaway, unstable glacier that right now might be right on a knife's edge and may in fact pass that point. The knife's edge for Thwaites is when it melts and collapses, an ominous event lurking somewhere in the future. Thwaites does hold the possibility to change the global coastline by something of scale three meters, say. Florida, for example, is only has an elevation of about three meters. So we're talking about a, a massive potential change on the planet. When we arrived here a couple of weeks ago, a massive iceberg, some 40 by 30 miles wide, blocked our icebreaker from getting close to Thwaites. So we're in plan B now. We're studying a glacier next to Thwaites. The physical processes are similar, so we learn a lot by studying this one. Last night, uh, we drilled down to this ice sheet at that tower. We put a temperature sensor down below, and right now it's 500 meters below my feet, down in the waters of the Pacific Ocean. Glaciers are losing mass around the world. The Antarctic lost 51 billion tons of ice between 1992 and 2001. That amount nearly quadrupled between 2012 and 2016 to 199 billion tons. The melt is responsible for alarming sea level rise, putting thousands at risk. In the U.S. alone, nearly 30% of the population lives in coastal areas. What it's all about here is collecting data so we can do a global glacier sea level forecast. At airports around the world, there are temperature sensors, and then there's something called the weather equation. It's a mathematical equation. And that is the forecast that shows up every day on your television or your iPhone. And this is an attempt at solving an equation that's way more difficult a glacier equation 